So it's lunchtime at the team event, and I'm um, having a wander around the main hall. Um, I've just picked up an on an army, which is on what I can only describe as an amazing display base. And uh, I've got the guy here with me who's brought it. So tell us who you are and tell us a bit about the army. Uh, Brandon Palmer, and it's Chaos Dwarves and Ogres. Yeah, and as we can see on the video, you can see it's uh, sort of a, an innocent-looking pond theme at the top. I just move the camera in a little closer on that. And um, down below, it's got what lurks below, and we've got a, a Chaos Dwarf, an Ogre Army. So, what? <laughs> I don't know where to start. Where, uh, where did the idea for this come from then? Uh, I just kind of wanted to do something that was like, it had a big display. You know, you see a lot of displays where it's just, you know, the base. I wanted to do something that's kind of over the top and had something, you know, just at the top that's just completely pointless, but it would look really good. So, I thought I'd do that, and I thought it'd be a good uh, contrast between the water and, you know, the fire down below. And so. Yeah, I mean, the idea, I mean, a lot of people might have gone for the, the whole underworld theme and the board at the back, but adding that at the top as well, it must have been a load of work. So where do you, where do you start building a display board like that? Uh, it's, the, it's the bottom piece of foam, and there's a piece of wood on the bottom, and then I have a back piece of foam, and then there is a shelf on the top. So you have the three main pieces, and then I just built around that. So I, I've got it all locked together with screws and... Uh, um, caulking and things like that, so it's really tight. And then I've got the spray foam and the, the terrain and things like that. You build it up from there. So it's not super super difficult. My only problem was uh, I had to get a really big saw because I just built it out from the sides and everything. And then one day I just completely sawed it down the side and then sawed it down the other side to make it flat. So. Trimmed a load off the edges. So what's the, the background? You've got like the, the cliff face with the skulls. Mm -hmm. what, uh, is that off for the Games Workshop um, school kit? The, yeah, um, the hill, is it? I think the mage throne if i remember right yeah it's two kits and you get three fulcrum fulcrums isn't it is that the one yeah it's one of the fulcrums yeah and uh, it's you get like three columns of two skulls per kit so i just it's just two kits and uh, i sunk them into the uh foam and built around those and thought it would add a little something different to the to the cave walls so what about the um, like the ridging like on the the columns on the ceiling is that all hand built out of, all that foam carved it yourself yeah those are carved out of foam just sheets of foam Nice. So what, what sort of tools do you use to, to carve your foam and that, that sort of thing? A lot of like loose razor blades. That's generally what I use for everything. Um, I, can't, I don't use a hot wire knife. I've just never used one. Just, just straight knives and, a, like I said, giant saw for the big stuff and lots of clamps, lots of uh, caulking and glue and everything else. So lots of putty. And the, uh, the, fl the lava itself is actually water effects that have been painted. So. Oh, the lava's a, a water effect. <laughs> nice, nice. So... Um, what about the army? What Did you design your army to fit in uh, the space, or did you build the space around the armies? The space around the army this time, because my buddy, he's the he's more of the player, and uh, he made the list, and I made the, the display around the list that he made. So, so did you, the, the pair of you, build this and paint it all, or was it just yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was the brains and the funds, and I am the painter. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so a bit of teamwork then. Um, what about the gaming? How did you go? Uh, it, the first game, like in the first two turns, it, was, it looked like it was going to be a blowout for us. Like our Mornfang just was wiping up everything. And then the uh, third and fourth game, it looked like we were just toast because the Skaven shooting was doing really good. And then fifth and sixth turns, it turned into a draw. So <laughs> A bit up and a bit down and yeah. then we drawing really the opponents and it was a lot of fun. So Excellent, excellent. So um, the lists, I mean, what, what's in the list? I mean, you've got some the Mornfangs. Do you want to just run through what models they are? Yeah, I got uh, starting on the far left. I've got a saber tusk on each side of uh, iron guts with a fire belly in that unit, and then behind that is four mourn fangs with a standard. Behind that is two units of bull centaurs. Down below the lava fall is twenty-five chaos dwarves with uh, two characters in that battle standard and a wizard. Uh, to the right of that is the BSB ogre. Behind that, in the dwarf list, is the hell cannon, and to the right of that is the iron blaster. It's a, it's a Chaos Dwarf model, but I put an ogre on it to make the Iron Blaster. Boom. Yeah, it looks great. I think that one's just off shot. I'll try and turn the, turn the camera a bit for people to see that one. So, the um, rest of the weekend, are you, you playing in the championships as well? Playing in the Fantasy Champs, yeah. What are you using in that one? At uh, Chaos Dwarfs or Ogres? I have Empire, and it is a giant chest, and it's about eight feet tall. It's got sails, it's a boat, and water. It's pretty wild. So, yep. Wow, it sounds amazing. Well, what I'll do then is I'll definitely try and catch up with you over the weekend, and see how your empire's looking if it's half as good as this i think it's gonna be amazing yeah, my, so that, that was my my champ project is like my love and then this is like my you know my buddy gets me to play the team so gotta do something 
No, I swear. Well, it's a lot bigger. It took out the back of a navigator getting up here, so. <laughs> yeah, it all, all transports in one piece, does it? Yeah, this one does. You take the models off, but otherwise it's one piece. The other one is many pieces, so. Right. Okay, well, thanks for chatting, and good luck with the rest of the weekend. No Cheers. Thanks a lot. So I found another army that's really nice looking. Um, this is Bretonians and Empire. As you can see, it's on a big display board, um, big castle in the middle. And uh, the paint job on them is really, really nice as well when you go up close. Um, some nice, uh, I think these are Thunderwolves thunder wolves here as the Mournfangs. And um, yeah, it looks pretty good. What's uh, interesting is two players drawn against each other. And the, as you can see behind it, the Lizman army and ogres are also nicely done with a big display board as well. But there's um, some really nice things in this one. Um, there's also, in this tournament, there's a theme aspect. So you, you get marked on um, whether you've got a good theme for your army between you and your partner. And um, these guys have printed off a bit of a, a story about their army. And uh, they've, you know, they've got the fluff to go with it and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, looking really cool. So this army I've spotted looks to be vampires and dark elves. And um, they've used the... Well, I thought it was the Mantic ghouls, but I'm not so sure now. Um, done a really good job of the, the zombie horde, or just thousands and thousands of zombies packed in. Um, used parts of zombies on the bases as well, uh, on the movement trays. So it really does look like a, a shambling undead horde. And there's just bodies packed in there. You can see there's a fair few. And over here, there's also um, a big unit filler. It's kind of like the World War Z um, trailer, where they're all piling up on top of each other. Um, anyone who's seen the trailers for that film that's coming out soon, um, you can see them leaping up out of the unit, just climbing up on each other to, to get the height. Um, terror guys there in the background as well. And uh, yeah, another cracking army. Some real, real nice armies here in the team's tournament. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's uh, in the championships over the weekend too. So before I showed you the What Lurks Below army, which is probably the most well done Warhammer army here. Um, now what you've got in front of you is a Despicable Me themed uh, Skaven and Chaos Dwarfs army and you know although the, the other one is a pretty fantastic Warhammer army this is just you know I think it takes the title for me as just the best theme. Um, the guys have they chose Chaos Dwarfs and um, Chaos Dwarfs and Skaven just because they'd get the most amount of war machines in and be able to pick the most amount of toys. Uh, they've actually done a little step-by-step -step guide of how they made everything. I'll just pop that in front of the camera now. And different works in progress of how they cast everything up. So you can see they've, they've got a few of the Despicable Me shapes, built a mould out of Lego and filled it with resin and sculpted them all out of resin individually. And then they've got their army list as well. And it shows you what they've been bringing. So we've got the uh, Warlock Engineers, different types of Despicable Me's. Uh, all the different units. We've got the Doom Wheel, the Warp Lightning Cannon, all that sort of thing. Then the Chaos Dwarf Army. Again, they've got more characters. Uh, another unit, Infernal Guard. And then they've got war machines as well, like anti aircraft batteries and magma cannons, Dreadquake Mortar, all sorts in there. So it really is a nice army. I'll try and get in a little closer so we can get um, a better picture. But it's getting a bit loud in here now, so I might have to move on. Um, you can just see so it really is well done whether it's Warhammer you know to be judged but it's certainly um, certainly an impressive impressive army